One week ago, the lives of students at Saugus High School were changed forever. In the aftermath of the shooting that killed two students, people are coming together to help the victims' families. And tonight, we're also learning more about how the teen gunman carried out his murderous rampage. KCAL9's Tom Waite is live tonight in Saugus with the very latest for us. Tom? Hi there, Susie. There are still memorials here in Central Park and nearby at the high school, of course, commemorating the victims and survivors. Tonight, families tried to get creative to try and help those victims by coming together and selling some T-shirts to raise some money. We're coming together. We're unifying. Jill Aubrey is a mom on a mission tonight. She's at the Westfield Mall in Santa Clarita trying to raise money for the families of the victims of the Saugus High School shooting. Jill's daughter is also a student there. We're moving forward one foot in front of the other one way or another. It's what we do. The kids are are strong. Jill and her friends banded together to have various gear produced with a special graphic that reads Saugus Strong. The profits go to the families of the victims of the shooting. Sadly, they did not have to look far to find folks ready to help make the clothing. I reached out to a friend from Borderline um, for the Borderline Strong who did the printing for their shirts. When they started doing this, the demand grew so quickly that they needed help. Also today, we learned from authorities the gun used by the teen shooter was not manufactured conventionally meaning it may have been a kit or ghost gun, possibly something like this. That means it may have been assembled by someone, either the shooter or somebody else. Investigators say they do not have evidence to indicate who bought the components or who put it together. Families tell me that the students will be going back to class after the Thanksgiving holiday. They say they've been talking to their students, trying to help prepare them. Also, the students, of course, have been let back onto campus for very brief periods to try to sort of help get them used to the idea of coming back to school. Reporting live in Saugus, I'm Tom Wade, KCAL 9 News.